There you go. Right? Yes. Nowadays, divorce seems to be very popular in our culture. I believe that children are affected more by, more by divorces than adults are. Statistics have shown that one out of two marriages in America will end up in divorce, and also those families include children who will also be um, affected by the separation. As a matter of fact, the separation of parents and the negative aspects of the relationship can be a more hurtful experience for a child than it is for an adult because both parents are very important figures in their lives, and they are witnessing their parents' um, disconnection from one another. Also, a divorce can break the bond a child has built over time, which can lead to sadness, loneliness, or depression. For example, during this time, a child feels a lot of sadness and a sense of loss at times believing that the absent parent is no longer a part of the family. In many cases, children also tend to blame themselves for their parents' separation, believing that they did something wrong. <coughs> um, however, adults can cope better with a divorce because they are more mature about these types of situations than children are. Also because mm -hmm. children are witnessing their, their family falling apart and they don't know what to expect from that in the future. Um, I believe that children at this time need to be given lots of support by their parents. Dr. Robert Hughes, an associate professor and extension specialist at the Ohio University, states that friends or family can provide emotional support to children by listening attentively to them and providing encouragement and understanding. It's helpful for a child to be reminded that they are important, valued, and capable of dealing with these types of situations. That's why it's very important to um, tell children if, um, if their parents ever decide to go through a divorce because they are more vulnerable to these types of situations and it could be more painful for them.